Hello, uh, let's go through problem number seven. Um, 82% students graduated from high school, uh, random sample of 10 students. I'm assuming independence, find the probability. Uh, let's pull this up in many tabs. Uh, we need to put our input, since we have 10 trials, we're gonna go one, excuse me, you could have zero success you could have one success, two success, and this is success on choosing students that graduated from high school. I can go all the way down to 10. Okay, um, I've inputted my number from 0 to 10. Now I can go um, to calc, probability distributions, binomial probability distribution. I want individual probabilities. This is for cumulative number of trials will be 10 um, probability of success is 0.82 input will be X those are my numbers I just input my output optional storage I'm gonna place it in a cell click OK there are all your different probabilities I like to take and copy all of mine to um, Excel so I can do the actual calculations it's just easier for me If I can copy, um, copy the cells, go to Excel, and I input them. Oh, let's put them over here. Paste and open up the cell. These values with the E that just represents scientific notation. This is a really small number here. So now let's go back and answer the question. <coughs> The first question is at least gradu at least five graduated from high school. Well, at least five. What does at least five mean? That means five or greater. So that will be. And if I were to sum these up, and I can put it here for at least five, I put equals, and I'm going to type in sum, and I'll highlight five and greater. Close my parentheses and it's .9963, there's that one. At most five, at most five means up to five. So that means, let me type in equals sum parentheses up to five. So I'm gonna highlight this, close off my parentheses, and there's your solution, .0213. The next one, exactly five graduated from high school, exactly five. Um, that will be this individual one here. There's nothing really to um, calculate. And that's it for problem number seven. Um, problem number eight, um, this one, how do you find cutoff values for normal distribution? Um, this one, we have to go backwards. Um, we're going to skip over number eight because there's not one exactly like this on the final exam. But read through it. It's a good problem to help you to understand the concepts. Um, let's look at problem number nine. Nine says, how do you find, how, excuse me, how do you solve confidence interval problems about the population mean using Z values and T values? The main thing, if the standard deviation is known, you use a Z. If it's unknown, you use T. If it's less than 30, T. If it's greater than 30, Z. Other than that, the calculations are really the same. Um, you just got to know where to go in many tabs and how to interpret it. For this particular one, we have mean of 70.11, standard deviation of 18.93, N is 19. Let's go. Um, here, you're going to go to stat. Um, basic statistics and this one is a Z one sample Z here um, summarize data sample size in this case is 19 let me input all the data okay there's all the information here then you click options make sure this is on 95 percent or whatever confidence level you have click OK and okay and there's your value here and that's really it for confidence um, intervals and we'll move on to the next one